Bible teaches us part of the Ten Commandments. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. The Shabbat, as it's called in Hebrew, is the seminal event in all of Jewish life because the Sabbath contains within it all the themes that are essential to Jewish theology and to Jewish observance. A belief that there is a God, a God who created heaven and earth, who created us, who gave us the ability to create. And so for one day a week, we cease creating and acknowledge who the true creator is. Orthodox Jews, for example, won't light a fire, won't turn on a light, won't drive in a car on the Sabbath day because it says in the Bible, you shall not create fire on the Sabbath day. And these forms of combustion, of lighting something in the darkness, are seen by Orthodox Jews as a form of fire. And that type of creation is something we set aside one day of the week. We celebrate the Sabbath and every other Jewish holiday from sunset to sunset because the Bible says in Genesis, and it was evening and it was morning. And so the day in the Jewish calendar begins at sunset, in this case for the Sabbath, on Friday evening at sunset, and goes till the following evening nightfall. So if you have a friend, a Jewish friend, and you see him on Sabbath or want to wish him a good Sabbath, you'll have a better understanding of what this holy day is all about. And you can now greet him or her with the Sabbath greeting, Shabbat Shalom. May you have a Sabbath filled with Shalom. Peace. To learn more about how you can be a blessing to Israel and the work of the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews, call the fellowship at the number on the screen or go to ifcj.org. Shalom Aleinu Israel.